Hello, my name is Slow Ninja, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to continue playing our Football Manager 2020 Extra Town Let's Play. So, since well, last episode, we didn't really have the best of results with the games I played in between, and um, let's just say we did, didn't really do well in the FA Cup with only getting a draw against Peterborough. So as you can now see, we're towards the end of February, so I've played quite a lot of games. And if I'm to be brutally honest, things have gone pretty well. I mean, that was the last game which you saw, and we've gone on such a great, great run of results of games. Only picking up a couple of losses here and there, and a few draws, but most of them have been wins. So, um, yeah, I won't go through all of the games, but... I probably won't show any of the highlights just because it's so many games. Um, but um, if you want to leave a comment down below whether I should make like a little show reel of all the games, just let me know and I will try and sort something out. But um, yes, as you can see, um, yeah, we've done pretty well. And I mean, if we look at the league, we are back on top of the league. Yes, I know Bristol Rovers and like teams like Oxford have played one or two games less. But we're just some just glad that we're back on top. And if you think about it, we're 18 points clear from 7th place. So at least getting in the playoffs means, I think, yeah, we, we can do it. I'm, I'm a, little hard, a little bit inside of me, I'm just happy to see Bolton out of the relegation zone. I mean, they will be on 40 points. So they would have been like mid-table, which I think would have been pretty good for them. But... I think the main reason why we have had so much success in the league is because we've changed our tactics around. You know, we've gone for like a like a defensive uh, four five one with attacking midfielders, and it's done. And we've done pretty well with this formation. Um, I mean, um, it's, we've got like Norwood back. As you can see, Judge is back. Um, like people like Rowe and Jackson got injured with Bishop's being a fantastic player for us. I mean, it doesn't show there, but in the cup runs, he's been pretty good. Um, Chambers got injured, unfortunately. Wilson Sal and with Teddy Bishop being out. So once they come back from their injuries, I feel like we can finally do that big final push towards the end of the season. So for the some of the eagle-eyed foods there, who have watched this, you may have seen that we are into the fifth round of the FA Cup. We won our third place replay against Peterborough. And when Lincoln, we beat 1 0 away. And for you who may want to know who we're playing against, it's of course the local rival against Norwich City, who are 18th in the Premiership and kind of struggling. So to be honest, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I think we could. It'd be great if we could win. It'll be a hard game to win, but why? Why not? Why can't we? Why can't we play and be a team from the Premiership? We are the lowest ranked team left in this competition, so I'm really happy about that. I mean, it'd be great if we get uh, get to the quarterfinals. That would be like a dream come true, but it will be struggle against Norwich. So anyway, for today's game, we have got Oxford at home. So looking at our team formation, um, so it's it's pretty much uh, the typical back four, but we'll change this out. Skews, Dussel, Holmes, I mean, I think this little triangle has formed a great partnership. Edwards have been, has been fantastic coming in as that right winger. It's been a completely different play I think with Judge coming back on the left wing and Will Keane um playing up top and he's he's our he's our first team striker now so yeah, I'm happy that he's scoring goals. Um so we did pass through the transfer market. I mean I tried to put in a bit for him but at Columbus I can't offer him an end of year contract which I would have loved to have done but it's very unlikely, but we have done a little bit of business. So, um, so uh, Jackie Herity or Haggerty, or however you pronounce, I probably butchered the name wrong. As a maybe a future goalkeeper for us, I mean, he 
he's got the high potential of becoming even better from these two. So definitely one to look up to. We've also got uh, Ferlinden. Um, as a you play for Bolton at the start of the season, so it's just there. He's pretty much more of as a cover player for us. But anyway, um, this team against um, I've already told you team against Oxford. So anyway, let's let's dive straight into the game. If we get a win here against Oxford, when hopefully um, we can get. Oh, well, if we can win this, this means that we can go, it must be like 11 points clear, third place. Yes, I know they've got a game in hand, but that would only bring it down to 8 points. So, I'm just hoping that we can get a win here. And, yeah, so we're down to place now. So, um, so I talked to you about what the next game will be after well after this game but um, hopefully we can get a result here that'll be just need a win just need a simple win or even a draw really but as long as we don't lose oh god he got there first to Kimlock to Edwards oh that would have been the perfect start for us. We're really struggling with possession, but we're getting the results. So, I'm not really caring that much. Socks was on the ball. To Woodburn. And Hanson. He crosses in, but we clear it. Oh, well, King does fantastic there. Can we make the break? Assume he's going to release the ball. Nope, he's going to continue running. To Will King. Oh, he swerved away. Comfortable save there. I've got a free kick here to Hall. Straight at home, only but Bristol Rovers are winning. Which is a little bit of a concern, but I demand more. This is going to be a really boring game. Well, I've got a feeling it's going to be quite a boring game. Oh, really? So Bristol Rovers winning, that means I think they go top of the league. Um, I'm not happy with the performance up there. What's the point of that? That's literally to no one. To absolute no one. Right, let's show some passion, people. Oh, that's close. Let's press the rover to tune it up. Oh, oh, that was so close. Oh no, who will be suspended for the next couple of games? Oh, so will Kane Vincent Young. Offside? No. Well, well, well. Not what we needed. I changed back to old formation and see what happens. I don't know where I've got nothing to lose. Demand more. We'll go fairy attacker. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not what we wanted.
So we're losing two of our top players for the next couple of games. Can we just head it across the ground? Oh, straight at the keeper. Why can't our shots go through their hands or whatever happens to our players? I'm going to loot Garda. Why not? This has been an absolutely dreadful display. I might need doing that, but we just don't win. Do the challenge, but our downs. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Absolute joke. Abs. Ah. Oh. This is not. If they if they score third here, oh, this would be a. Oh my lord. Hey, who's that to? We're literally just kicking the ball up for no apparent reason, not winning any of these balls. Oh, downs. Yes, there we go. Oh, nope. A push forward. Let's try and get that second. Is that going to happen? No. Well, it may happen if we're quick. Nope. Oh, Will King could have got that ball. Nope. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Get shouty, get shouty. But and as yeah, we've dropped down. At least we can't drop out of second, but they win a two games to hand, six points. It just makes it more horrible for us. So where are we? Just played against Oxford. So we've got not too fast about that Blackpool game because we should win that. We should win it. But after that, we've got. Do I have that many games left? I think it's, it's only 12 games left until the end of the season. But of course, I feel like. This Norwich game will definitely be the next game, and when after that, it'll be a lovely, a lovely double header of Bristol Rovers away and Portsmouth at home. So yeah, so Norwich will be the next game, which will be, I think, a very tasty, a very tasty affair. So um, anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give us give it a like. Um, subscribe if you're new around here. But um, until well, the derby game of the fifth round of the FA Cup. See you later.